Okay, this is how you rig a car using the launch control add-on for Blender. First, we're gonna go into the front view like this. Then we're gonna head into wireframe by hitting Z and wireframe. And we're gonna select the entire car body, except the tires. So let's try doing that. Hold shift. Now let's try getting everything except the tires. Let's go to side view. Boom, boom. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we got everything. Nope, we are still missing a few parts. Yeah. Boom. You also need to get these parts right here. No, we got that. We got those. Okay, we're missing these two here. So control Z and let's just grab these parts. We got it. Okay, there. We got everything. Then we're gonna hit M, make a new collection. We'll call it body. Boom. And now we have body right here and we can just hide it. Uh, we don't need these X, delete that. Okay, cool. Next, we're going to separate the tires from the brakes. So let's first do the brakes. Click on your brake. Oh, I, it looks like the brakes and the brake hub is connected. So we got to separate those. So let's just go to front view, hit tab, uh, go to wireframe. And let's just select the entire hub like this. You can hold control and then plus on your keyboard to select the entire hub. And then go back to solid and make sure it's selected. It is control Z with P and then separate selection. Cool. And we'll just rename it to F2. We'll just call it hub dot front left. Okay. And we will rename the brakes to brake dot front left. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So select this, we'll get to separate it. Tab, wireframe, control plus, select the entire thing. Cool. It is selected, P, separate selection. Okay. It is separated, rename it to hub dot front right and then we'll re rename the brake to brake dot front right okay same thing with this side tab rear right and we'll name the brake here to brake dot rear right okay and then do the same thing with this tab wireframe p selection Hub dot rear left. F2 brake dot rear left. Finally, I think we're done. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now we're just going to hide each of the brakes for now by selecting them and hitting H. And now we gotta make sure the tire, the entire tire is uh, attached. So to do that, just select the rim and the tire. Make sure the tire is the last one selected. Hit Control P and parent to object. So now it's all together. And we'll do the same thing with the other ones. But first we'll, we'll just rename this to F2 tire dot uh, front left. Make sure the tire is the last one selected. Control P, object apparent. 
paste. Okay. Uh, tire dot front right. Nice. Tire dot rear right. Control P. Make sure it's attached. Nice. F2 tire dot rear left. Okay. I think we're good to go. Now we'll just hit A to select everything, hit H to hide, bring back the body, and then we're going to hit Shift A, add in an empty cube. And then we'll just make sure the cube is surrounding the entire car body. So let's do that. Uh, S, Y, scale like that. Okay, G, Y, and we'll just move it like this. S, Z, scale it down a little bit. Uh, let's just make sure the tires are covered as well. I ah, know it, it'll, it'll get the tires. <laughs> okay. There we go. I think we're good to go. Okay. Now just hit A and make sure the empties does la the last one selected. Hit Control P, object, parent to object, and now the body is attached to the empty. Nice. Okay. And make sure to drag the empty into the body collection, right? Like this. And we'll rename it. We'll rename the uh, the empty to body controller. Okay. Nice. Now, if you did everything correctly, hit Alt H to bring everything back, and your scene collection should look like this. So you sh you, sh you should have your body in one collection and your tires and brakes like this named like this as well and then hit n go to your launch controller select your uh, master collection for me it is the well let's actually bring everything into the master collection so drag the body into the mclaren senna and we'll drag all of this into the McLaren Senna as well. Make sure everything is in the collection. So it just got separated. So you got to just make, try, uh, select everything and put it back into the master collection like this. Okay, there we go. Now everything is in the master collection. Okay, so once everything is in your master collection like this, first, let's just go click on the empty, hide it, then hit A. And then select one object, any object, doesn't matter. I'll select the hood here. Then right click on your mouse, go to set origin and then orange it and then origin to center of mass. And now to make sure everything is correct, just make sure, <clears throat> just make sure your tires are spinning correctly. So I'll select my tire here, hit R, Y or X, and it is spinning correctly. Nice. Okay, and now just bring back your empty like this. And now just drag in your master collection into launch control and hit rig vehicle. And there you have it. And now you can use any one of these animations. So for example, I'll use, let's try the drift one here. Hit animate vehicle and it sets up an entire pathway for you if you want to do a drift animation like this. 
You can also set up the cameras by going into manual gearbox. Go to cinematography and create hooked cameras. And then you can select your hooked camera. And then you can hit shift and then this button right here, here on your keyboard, I don't know what it's called. Go closer and you can follow the car. Boom, pretty cool. But if you don't like this animation, you can switch it. So let's go to, let's try this one right here. Animate vehicle, go back to camera. Let's just adjust the camera here. And you can see it's working correctly. Follow me for more Blender tutorials.